that we've learned this past year is monitoring the coronavirus trends is a constant effort. That data is what cities, counties, and our communities depend on to make important decisions and recommendations. Jacob Rascone is live in the Texas Medical Center tonight. And Jacob, some of our top medical leaders are giving insight on what could happen in the weeks and months to come. Chris, those trends have all been going in the right direction for some time, but lately they have stalled and they aren't declining as fast as the health leaders say they want to. It is now a race between vaccinating people as fast as possible and the variants that are now spreading rapidly. Houston's top public health leaders celebrated an accelerating vaccine rollout, but warned that spring break, relaxed mandates, and rapidly spreading variants will not mix well. Uh, we're really concerned that we're going to get a large surge from the people that are not continuing those public health measures to really put a huge... Uh, uh, flow of infection and in patients into our hospitals. The once steadily declining positivity rate, COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations have stalled, they say, and the next wave or surge could be worse than any of the others. New cases of COVID-19 are, are more than twice of what they were before this new third wave. The race is on between variants and the vaccine rollout and herd immunity, Dr. Klotman said, is likely four months away. I'd say if we get to 65 percent, you know, along with the following public health measures, we'll be in great shape. That's going to be mid-September, I mean, sorry, mid-July, mid July, mid-summer. The choice is ours, these health leaders say, how many more Texans will die by that time. One said if we don't respect CDC guidelines, even with exponentially increasing vaccine doses, the death toll could increase by another 7,000. It's a race to get people vaccinated before we get more and more infectious viruses uh, taking over the community. So to put a point on what Dr. Klotman said, he says that the number of people who are vaccinated, along with those who have had the virus and already recovered, that number together is what will give us that herd immunity, which is that protection in the community from COVID-19 that will severely limit the spread. He predicts will be there by mid-July. Reporting live at the Texas Medical Center, I'm Jacob Branscombe. Back to you.